Today I'm going to review Khan Academy, an education resource that will, spoiler alert, blow your mind. I'm Shannon Germain, and this is Nix the Noor. I'm doing a series of reviews of homeschool curriculums and tools to help all of you who are suddenly doing school at home and maybe even fighting out about it. I've been doing this a long time, so if there are any curriculums or resources that you like reviewed, comment down below because I can probably give you some input or I can try to find someone who can. And please subscribe! because I'll be posting a lot of these in the coming weeks to get you all prepared for school. Remember, it costs you nothing to subscribe, but it helps me out because YouTube will promote my videos more. My reviews are honest and unbiased because I pay for the services just like you do and don't get them ex in exchange for a review. That's something you really have to look out for when you look for homeschool resource reviews, by the way. That doesn't really apply here because today I'm talking about Khan Academy, which is absolutely free. Also remember this as just one person's opinion and different things work for different people. Today I'm totally excited to tell you about Khan Academy. It's completely free which is really ironic because it is one resource that I would absolutely pay for if I had to. It's spectacular. I'm putting their website link below with some other cool resources and links and some of those will be free as well. I use Khan Academy mostly for math. I started using them with pre-algebra and now I'm in algebra two. But I've also used them for other subjects like history and chemistry, and even a really cool class I'm taking on there that is put out by Disney and Pixar, and it's about storytelling, and it's super fun. I can't even begin to tell you what a godsend, what a godsend Khan Academy has been to me, for math especially. The great thing about taking math with Khan Academy is that there's no such thing as getting a B as a grade. What? It's all about mastery learning, and Sal Khan, the founder, actually did a really cool TED Talk about this concept of mastery learning, and I'll put the link to it in the description below. Basically, it's the idea that you have to master something in order to move on to the next level. Because, say you got a B in pre-algebra, and then you just got moved on to algebra. That's not good because you don't know about 20% of what you should have learned in the previous course. Then if you move on, you're already at a disadvantage. So anyway, that's what Khan Academy does. And make sure that you actually know this stuff before you move on to the next level. And that's what some kids can't stand about it. Honestly, some of my friends are like, how can you stand it? because it sometimes takes a lot longer to get through an, an, an entire subject than, than, than you want to because it won't let you move ahead until you get a certain number of questions right. But that's exactly why I love it. They have a ton of videos on how to do things. So even if you aren't relying on them for your entire math curriculum, you can still use them as a resource. Now, I have one big issue with Khan Academy for math, and if Sal Khan is listening, which I'm sure he isn't, I hope he'll change this. I hate the new updates that happened this summer. They got rid of what they call missions, and also made it so that you're unable to access the videos and hints in their quizzes and tests as easily. You can only access them after you've answered the question. Maybe I'm just set in my ways, but I really liked it more the other way. For the other topics, it's a little similar, but they don't offer quite as many questions and quizzes and things like that to sort of measure your progress. You just click on modules, and then it will usually quiz you in some way on what you've learned. For math, 
They have it broken down so that you can access it depending on your grade level. For things like history, there are fewer options. For example, I tried using their history course when I was in sixth grade, and I found it really overwhelming. But now that I'm in high school, it all makes more sense. So not all subjects are broken down by grade level. Overall, I absolutely give Khan Academy 5 stars. I think it is hands down the most useful thing out there for any kid. Whether you're homeschooled or go to public school or private school, and I've done all three. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Remember to comment below if there's anything you'd like reviewed. And check out the other resources I'll put there because some of them are free. And please do not forget to subscribe.